Hey everybody, I'm Laura the Librarian. This is Paper Craft at Home, and today we're making paper weavings. For this project, you're going to need some paper. You can really use any kind of paper you want. I'm going to use two different colors of scrapbook paper so you can see what I'm doing when I'm weaving. So I decided to make my weaving six inches by six inches. So that means I want to make six strips that are one inch wide and then I want to give myself a little extra space so I'm making them eight inches long. So first thing I'm going to do is mark off my eight inches on this piece of paper. Then I will mark off six inches in the other direction. Make that line. And then I'm going to mark off the one inch strips. So I'll make six strips that are one inch wide and eight inches long. Now I'm going to cut them out. I like to draw the lines to make it easier to cut. You can eyeball it, whatever you like. All right, here we have the six orange strips to start. Those will go one direction in our weaving. And now I'll do the same thing with the blue paper. I kind of had figured out what I was doing at this point, so I did it slightly differently, but same concept. I marked off my six one inch strips and then my eight inch length, and then I drew in my strips. And then I'll cut this out. And you guys may know by now, I'm not a very straight cutter, even when I draw lines for myself. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, now we've got six blue strips to go the other direction. All right, now we're going to set up to weave. So you're going to have to have a flat surface that you're comfortable working on and get it maybe getting a little sticky. So first thing you want to do is line up six strips in one direction. And again, you can use any paper, any colors. These do not all have to be the same color. They just have to be roughly the same size. All right, so I'm going to line up all my blue ones. Take just a sec here. Keep them pretty tight. All right. And now what I'm going to do is anchor these to my work surface with some masking tape. I'm going to use painter's tape because it removes really easily. You want something that's not going to damage the paper too much um, because you are going to pull it off at the end. Um, but masking tape should work. Washi tape would be fine as well. All right, so we'll stick that down. And now we're going to weave in the orange papers going the other direction. Now when you're working with paper, a really easy way to weave is to lift up every other strip and then just put your other color strip down. Flop your strips down and then flip up the three opposite blue strips. If you want, you can give it a little bit of a crease. That's what I'm doing with my finger on each one and that's just going to help hold your strip up while you place your, um, your orange strip in. And then you just keep repeating that every other place a strip in, bring them down, take up every other, put a strip in, bring them down. Nice, we'll just finish that up. All right, so that is the basic six by six. Now what you want to do is you want to anchor the side that's opposite your tape. So you can lift up your little blue strips in order to stick them to the orange strip and then lift up the whole orange strip in order to attach it on the bottom to the three other blue strips. Awesome. So that means that we will anchor the opposite end from where we started with a little bit of glue stick. And once we've anchored that side, that means we can remove our tape. So I'll go ahead and do that being gentle to our paper. Awesome. That's why we anchored it at the other end so that when you, we pulled off the tape it 
it can sometimes pull a little bit and that's totally fine. So this is the part where you can tighten up your um, horizontal strips. Your blue ones are kind of all in the same spot already because that's where you started with the tape. But you can tighten up the orange ones. You can tighten up the blue ones a little bit because now at this point they're just anchored by a little bit of glue on the one end um, and the glue stick should be malleable for a little bit. You can move that around. All right, so once it looks the way you like it, you want to take your glue stick and do the same anchoring that we just did, but on the side that previously had the tape. So again, we're just going to make sure that the two opposite sides, what was originally your top and bottom, are anchored in the same way with a little bit of glue on top and then a little bit of glue to hold your orange strip onto those bottom blue strips. Nice. All right. Got that all tidied up. Oh, that glue, it likes to move. It's all right, it's a good thing. You can make it look really good. All right. Great. So now we are going to flip it over. And what we'll do is we're going to glue down all of the strips that fold over. So some of the strips you'll see are just kind of long. They don't have anything currently going over them. And this way we can glue down all the flaps so that they line up with the row that you're currently doing. Nice and tidy like that. And now that we've created that line, it's much easier to do the rest of the gluing because it gives you an exact a better way to see how far you need to fold it. But again, we'll just fold those in, glue them down, go all the way around. On the orange side, which we didn't anchor before, you um, also can put a little bit of glue underneath to hold that strip in place. Like that right there. Glue that one down and then you can do the folding fold it up to match the place you already folded over. All right, so we'll, f oh, we'll finish gluing around. Awesome. Give it a little extra press, a little extra glue if anything's still flappy. And that's how the weaving looks. Now what I like to do is to finish it with a little tape just so that you can um, you can hold it down while it's drying. Also you can just kind of make sure it's not going to come unraveled at all. Uh, I'm just going to use a little bit of washi tape to hold down all these flaps. It won't be visible from the other side. It'll just make me feel better. All right, here we go with the washi. Zip and stick. And there it is, our finished project. I hope you try your hand at paper weaving. Thanks for crafting with me today. Bye.